Hi everybody, this is Steve. I'm about to show you guys a tutorial on how to customize the email settings of Web Form Builder. Um, I've also decided to make this a kind of a two-in-one tutorial and we're going to add it to um, a framework uh, that was created with Responsive Layout Maker. We're going to add a form to that in the same tutorial. So please bear with me, this um, may take a little longer than most of my tutorials. So I've went ahead here and created a just generic uh, web form here, and there's a couple quick things I want to go through with you guys just to, uh, that, that's going to be important for later when we go to adjust the settings, it'll make things easier down the road. So I'm going to click on the, the label here, I'm just going to start naming my elements here. Uh, this text field, you'll notice it says the name of this text field is called text2. Well, we don't want to put that there and I'll, it'll become very clear later on in the tutorial why we're going to change these. So I'm just going to be more descriptive. Email, we can just leave it the email 6 but I like changing it. And again here, we're going to go comments. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're ready to um, make some setting changes in our form. So we're going to go to the settings button. And we're going to go to uh, the tab that says email notices. Now I'm just going to zoom in here. You're going to notice two different areas here. Um, in the email notices, there's there's the top area. This is the message you're going to receive when someone completes your form, and the bottom area here is the message that uh, will be sent to the person who's filled out your form. And we're going to customize both of these. So we'll start it off by clicking off the first one. Now you got to pick the email address that you want these notifications to go to. In my case. and you can choose to do a CC or BBC or from and um, I, I like entering uh, an email address into this from field it doesn't really even have to be a real email address but this will be in the uh, in the from field when the mail when the message gets sent to you and then in the reply to field we're going to select email and then we're going to configure message. Okay, you're going to notice uh, a whole lot of uh, CSS uh, styling in this, in the body of this uh, uh, customization. Uh, basically, this is just a bunch of HTML with all the styles embedded right into it. And we're going to just scroll down. And you'll see it near the bottom starting at someone filled out your form and here's what they had to say uh, we're going to go just below it and you'll notice coffee cup um, added some other just advertisements to the web form builder uh, you can choose to leave that in there if you like but uh, myself I clear that out whenever I build a form for myself so let's just delete that out of there okay so now we got this from results and what the from results does is it basically uh, takes everything that you have in your form name last name email comments and includes IP address um, very kinda just it just spits it out in the order that it is on the form but if you want to customize that we can just delete this out here and make a little space in there now we can start customizing this. So say, say I don't want to have it come in in the same order as what we have it on the form. We're gonna we choose to go last name first. So I just simply give it a title, and then here is where the changes we made earlier are really important. We see name, last name, comments, email, whereas before what you would see was text 1, text 10, text 
Context 25, and what have you. So we made these changes so it's easier for you to understand what you're going to put in there. So we're going to go ahead and go last name. I'm going to put a little line break. And then we're going to put first name. And then we're going to select it from the drop down box. I'm going to add a line break. Go comments. And again, really, you can, if you know any, any a little bit about HTML, you can really customize this even further. You can add images. It's just uh, a basic HTML template. And lastly, email. Email. Okay, so we've got that all. Whoops. We've got that all added. I accidentally added a couple more elements. I didn't want to. And while I'm on this screen, I'm going to copy these because I'm going to need them for the second form. Um, I'm going to copy and just hit OK. OK, so the top notification is done. We're going to set up the auto response. Who is the auto response from? Well, it's going to be from you. going to go to the person who sent the email who's inquiring and then we're going to configure this message and again you're going to notice a lot of uh, uh, custom CSS in here and if you feel adventurous you can make changes in here but I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and as you can see a part in here where it's thanking your customer for taking the time to fill out your form uh, here's a copy of what you submitted so they can see what they submitted to you um, we're gonna customize this too so I'm gonna get rid of this form results and and earlier I copied that stuff we made in the first form I'm just gonna paste it into this one so I don't have to recreate it and we're good to go and okay I must have made a mistake in my spelling here. There it is. Okay. Done. Now we're going to export this. Now if you don't have an S Drive account, um, this is this is the way we're going to do it. We're going to manually export things. So the first thing you're going to need to do is save your form. So navigate to your, your folder where your website is, where all your files are, and name your form. So we'll just call this test form. And then we're going to go to file, export, manual server. And again, find where your website is. In my case, it's right here and right in here. OK. Now you're going to want to take this code and paste it wherever you want your form to appear, whether it's Responsive Layout Maker, Visual Site Designer, or you just have some uh, a, a website you've built with Notepad. It doesn't really matter. This is the code you're going to need to put inside your um, your your page. So we're going to hit Copy to Clipboard. Now the second part of the tutorial is how to add it to a Responsive Layout Maker framework. I've already created this framework here um, and I've made a spot where I want my web form to appear. So I've already gone through the trouble of exporting this and saving it and um, to, to my f website folder. So I'm just going to minimize this, minimize this, and we're going to go in here and we're going to notice a couple things. Uh, here's the test form exported folder that, that we just created and here's the test form um, uh, application file. So we're going to open up index. This is our responsive layout maker output. We're going to open this up. And here it is. Now this is probably the trickiest part for all you non-coders is, is where to find 
to put your exported um, web form into. So as you notice in here, I've named my web form. Now I'm simply going to go in here and look through the code and I notice, oh, here it is right here. Um, this is where I want to put my web form. So it's really a placeholder for where my form's going to go. So I'm going to take and delete this out. And I'm going to paste this code in that I copied from the web form and save. The last step is to upload it to our server. I'm just going to refresh my list here. Now you're going to see um, the files here that we need to upload. This is important like most uh, coffee cup software when it exports its project it uh, puts it in an exported folder. Um, we don't want to upload this exported folder to the server because it's not really going to work. We're going to want to go into the contents and upload the contents to the server. So I'm going to select both of those. Upload. Now this is quite a large file so it's going to take a while to um, to finish uploading. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is upload our index file. Done. We go to this side, refresh, and we should be able to see all our forms have been uploaded. Minimize this, minimize this. Now if we go to our website, okay, we'll see the spot where we wanted our form. We hit Control F5, and there it is. Our web form has been added to our framework of our responsive layout maker. And we'll just give this a quick test. I'm going to go Johnny Smith. And for the sake of, of this tutorial, I'm just going to put my address in here again just so you can see um, what both of the forms are, are going to look like. Well, the one that the, your customer is going to receive and the one that you're going to receive. This and submit. Alright, so this has been submitted. Now if we go to my email Give this a moment, it should send pretty quickly. Okay guys, I just paused the video until uh, the emails actually came in. So here is the two emails it would send. Um, the first one, well, which is the only one you'll probably ever see once you get this set up, is this one here. Uh, somebody filled out your form. And here's how we've customized it. We have did the last name, first name, comments, and email test. This is the results of uh, your handiwork earlier in changing the settings of the form. And then this is the one that your customer would get. Thank you for your submission. And that you can edit as well in that template where we were making the other changes. Thanks for taking the time to fill out the form. Here's a copy of what you submitted and that's what your customer gets. I hope you found this tutorial uh, helpful and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below 
or just ask me in the forums. I'm usually always hanging out there anyway. <laughs> so uh, I wish you all a good night, and until next time, we'll see you later.